Hey, so um, I wanted to go back a little bit just to kind of get the historical context of what uh, what we're talking about. Now, I don't think we're going to have enough any time to get into Rampage or SmackDown or ratings or even the UFC show. So, Dave, I think you and Brian are going to try and come back tomorrow night with that stuff. So just for folks, we're, we're probably just going to take up the whole time here talking about this. But I wanted to go back and, you know, you mentioned, Dave, about they wanted to get Zahorian. Why did why was the next target Vince rather than like a bigger thing? Because I mean, I'm I, I'm watching sports back then. I I I I know this stuff is happening. It had ha- you know the Olympics was a big deal. I I know it's happening in the NFL. But what was the reason for Vince to be the target? Because uh, in the in the documentary, McDevitt blames the whole thing on Mushnick. Well, Mushnick was writing and writing, and they were reading and reading. And I think I do think that, you know, it wasn't like Mushnick's calling these guys up. You know, you've got to do this, you know, like which which I'm sure in the documentary or in the um, in the multi-part series that that the WWE is going to do. The character of Phil Mushnick will, in fact, be in conspiracy with the government. Um, <laughs> you know, I suspect I loved when he said I was an informant because I wrote I wrote everything <laughs> that I knew and they read it and they were informed by it. It was so perfect. <laughs> I mean, because, yeah, that's that's but that is what happened. And, you know, yeah, he was writing so. about and, and you know, the, originally they may have also been looking at the, um, you know, the young boys thing, you know, the underage boys, yeah. you know, working there and the Mel Phillips stuff, you know, with with the foot fetish and the and the things like that and the Terry Garvin stuff. And for whatever reason, because they were asking about all that stuff, but they couldn't get um, whatever it was. They didn't even get an indictment on it. So they 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 didn't have the evidence because, you know, a lot of guys disappeared into thin air. And and, you know, so so um, I think that at that point it was kind of like, well, the, the the only stuff that they had, they'd already started this investigation um, and probably in, into both the steroids because Mushnick wrote about both the steroids and the the young boy sex scandal, whatever, which is amazing because it like absolutely destroyed Joe Paterno, who's a hundred times bigger than Vince McMahon and Vince, you know, um, I, it was so funny with, with Paterno when the Paterno thing was going on. I don't know if you were thinking this way, but um, you know, cause that was a giant, giant story. And all I was thinking because of my experience with wrestling is, is that like, why didn't Joe just pay everybody off? Isn't that what you do when, when you have a sex scandal like this and you're like a big time guy? But I guess like in the rest of the world, maybe they don't think of it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah let, go let, ahead. Jared, sorry, we're, this is a tie to your question. Um, and I, I, I want to get Dave's question. Do you think, and, and this is tied into Dark Side of the Ring, that in even some of their tweets promoting the show, where we framed it as the government was trying to take down WWE, you know, put them out of business. And that was WWE, you know, they're, they're part of the, the closing arguments where, you know, this is a family business and they're, they're, they're coming after this family business. Did you ever sense that Sean O'Shea, that, that they were, that there was, um, uh, that it was personal or that there was, what's, what do you need for um, libel or slander? You, you need to have not only be wrong, but also have animus. There's a better word than that that I can't think of. Um, did you sense that was a case, or was this just we think we need to use them as an example because it's the easiest thing to follow through on here, um, and we think we have a case, and it was just kind of a by the numbers type thing. Like that. That's the part that Dark Side and WB wants you to. Th- well, I shouldn't say Dark Side wants you to think that, but they pulled some quotes. Um, that this was, we're going to get them. And it almost had a, a, WWE sort of has a thing that I think they were, uh, th- that they're playing into that wrestling fans have, which is, ah, they're out to get us because we're pro wrestling and yeah. we're not as prestigious. Did you buy into that? No, well, okay. As far as out to get pro wrestling, I don't believe 0%. Okay. Yeah. At, yeah. At that one. Out to get Vince McMahon because they thought he was a really bad guy. Um, and they were very zealous to get Vince McMahon. Yes, I do believe that. Yeah. I do believe. I, I do believe that it was. But did they want to take down the WWE and put wrestling out of business? No, no. I don't think they even gave a shit. I, and and yeah. if you remember, at the 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 O'Shea's argument was, the worst guy for wrestling is this guy. You know, it's yeah. like they, they they. I thought they were very clear that like they never tried to play the wrestling is bad card ever in that whole trial. There was never wrestling is bad. It's manipulating these people out of money with the fraud or anything like there was no at no point did that. I don't I mean, maybe you remember differently, but no. I don't remember at any point 
any attempt to portray pro wrestling itself as negative. It was only, um, you know, Vince McMahon and Zorian are, you know, conspired to get all these guys on drugs and they stayed on drugs. And, you know, O'Shea goes, you know, it's, um, you know, they're, they're only allowed for medical reasons. And somehow every, everybody in the WWE is sick and they never get better. Why is this? You know, that was like the way he was framing it. Like, Everybody's sick in this company. Why are they sick? And why do they never get better? You know, so that, that was, yeah, I, I, but I didn't think that it was so much. Um, it certainly wasn't pro wrestling in, you know, and, like that, that wrestling is bad and it's an easy target, you know, the easy target. It's like, but I do think that they read the, the Mushnik stuff and perhaps did their own, like all their different investigations. And I think that in the, you know, that they, I think that they did think Vince was a bad guy and we got to figure out a way to get him. Hey, if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.